We're leaving Koh Lanta today and we're off to the Pee Pee Islands. We'll get on that. First stop, very poor. Oh, pee pee. Ah, oh, mate, natural beauty here, of course, as you would expect. And I'm going to show you the room. Oh, I don't know about that. We've got a little balcony here, too, and a little bathroom. open this door must remain closed all right we don't have ac in here there are two fans though so should be fine there's also holes all in the floor so should get some ventilation there also this place does breakfast breakfast included it doesn't look like a great breakfast but uh hey i'll take it it's much easier I'm just gonna wait for the other guys to check in we're gonna go for a little walk around the island, see what we can find, see what sort of prices of food is here. And also we need to try and find a good price for a boat tour for tomorrow. I don't know if you wanna see the reality of how the Thai people actually live. Obviously all we ever see is the white sandy beaches, the nice blue sea. Don't ever really stop and have a look at how the locals live. Um, here you go. Yeah mate, the food is good. The coffee's good, the food's good, the price is good, the service good. Yeah, good spot. Madame Resto it's called. Well nice mate, definitely recommend to come here. We had, had heard that if you go into a bank with your passport you can get money out of your account and you, there's no ATM charge. We've just gone in there and they've, they reckon there's still a 200 baht charge to, to withdraw money so uh, yeah, we need to have a little look around and see what the deal is with that. Check this out, mate. Got some snazzy new swimming trucks. And I got some more uh, sunglasses. Again, I'm in a bank now, trying to get money out without paying for it. The only thing you need is your card, your passport, and this. Hopefully, they're not going to charge me. Can't do it. Can't do it. <laughs> Don't know where people are getting this done. I've tried a couple banks now, and you cannot do it. Check this place out. <laughs> They're watching cockfighting. I was probably betting on it. That's not something you see every day, is it? Right, finally booked the tickets. We've ended up with uh, a private charter boat for three hours. It cost us 2,300 baht for four people. So that's only 575 per person. Then that's for three hours on a private boat. That's a sweet as. Go to all, all the main spots around here. Also, we've done it. We, we chose to go in the evening. Apparently, in the morning, it's really busy. So. We're gonna, we just went a little bit later on in the day. We'll just chill out in the morning, hire some kayaks. It's only 200 baht per hour, by the way. Going to the viewpoints. Well, as you can see, it's actually quite nice up here. 
fair play if they're gonna actually use the use the money to make the place keep up to uh <laughs> if they're gonna use the money to upkeep the land then uh fuck it fair play man fair play 30 baht each is not bad Make a tea, use their carton of juice, and then I'll get two bits of bread and that. That's breakfast. Let the games begin. There we go. So we got the we went for the private boat in the end. There it is. It's gonna be fun. First stop, Monkey Beach. Who are the monkeys? <laughs> you know, when I get annoyed, he's actually, he's actually got fucking fun with yeah. Oh, actually, it looks a bit yeah. shit, mate. Big boy's coming. Big boy's gonna bite her. Quick no. 
three hours is more than enough to do this. Don't do four hours unless you're planning on like getting pissed up on the boat and having a laugh and that because you get around this a lot quicker than you think. That boat trip was sick, but I'm starving now, so we're uh, we've come to this place, Horror House Restaurant. I'll let you know how it is. Check out the decor in here. These chairs, mate. Yeah. Mate, this food in here is good. Everyone's good? Yeah. Mate, yeah, the food in here is decent. Good spot for dinner. Good curry as well. The Indian in here is good. Mate. This room is terrible. There's music going on till 2 a.m. Loud music, it's vibrating the whole place. Good morning. We are leaving the PP Island today and we're going to Phuket. It's a two hour ferry ride. Didn't cost us much. It was about six, 400 each, isn't it? 400 baht per person. Chilling here for a bit. That looks so nice. I'm gonna copy you. Nice. All right, time to get the boat. Mixed emotions about PP Islands. I think you only need a couple days here. Very, very picturesque, very nice. We had a great day out on the boats. Just going around seeing all the islands, snorkeling, seeing all the life and stuff. If you're, if you're below the age of 25 and you come here with some pals or your girlfriend and you wanna get pissed up all the time, a bit like in Ibiza, you will love it here. You will absolutely love it here. But if you're over 25, like myself, or uh, not really into the whole get, getting drunk and having parties on the beach all night, then you're probably only gonna need a couple of days here just to see the place, go around and see the islands. It only takes a few hours. Three hours was more than enough for us. Um, yeah, and then get yourself on your journey and don't, don't waste too much time here. It's, it's very nice, but it's, it's, a, it's a party scene really, to be completely honest. And it's quite expensive on here too, compared to other places we've been. So that's my conclusion. Have a good day. See you next time. Well, there's a lot of massage places here if you're feeling a little bit stiff. The tall one, Dan Zero. Definitely sushi. 